Meghan Markle's latest move will see a few sighs of relief around Buckingham Palace. Meghan Markle's foray into lifestyle branding with her American Riviera Orchard brand, has reportedly brought a sigh of relief to the royal family, insiders claim. The Duchess of Sussex took to Instagram to launch her artisan jam collection, gifting 50 jars of the gourmet spread to her celebrity pals for online endorsement. This pivot away from an expected tell-all royal book by Meghan, which had been the subject of much speculation among royal commentators, seems to have been welcomed by the monarchy. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. Emma Clifton, a writer for Australian Women's Weekly, suggested that Meghan's venture into the brand is likely to be received positively by the royal household. Celebrity PR specialist Waylon Tate told The Express that Meghan seems to be carving out this project as her own, separate from her joint ventures with Prince Harry on Netflix and Spotify, The Mirror reports. Tate commented, What I've seen so far, although she's been pretty clandestine about it, everything surrounding this new brand, is that it's Meghan and it's Meghan alone. You can even see it on Instagram. It's not Meghan and Harry, it's by Meghan. He further stated, this is the emancipation of Meghan. It's her saying, I'm a smart, savvy businesswoman. And here's an introduction to my family on my terms. Clifton also commented, considering how much anticipation there was for Meghan's supposed tell-all novel, her pivot into domestic goddess should surely mean, there are a few sighs of relief around the palace for now. However, Harry's 2021 memoir release, Spare, reportedly led him to prevent Meghan from pursuing plans for her memoir. PR expert Maya Riez spoke to the Daily Mirror, describing Harry's actions as a prudent decision. She stated, if it is true that Prince Harry has blocked Meghan from writing a memoir, this seems to be a prudent move in their efforts to build bridges with the royal family. It suggests that Harry intends to avoid further controversy and maintain a more positive relationship with his family. Meghan's next project appears to involve dog treats, as hinted by Harry's friend Nacho Figueras who recently shared an image of a stylish glass jar filled with the goodies. Despite the excitement, fans continue to wait in suspense with no official comment yet on when they can expect the American Riviera Orchard products to become available. Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton's long-standing feud was allegedly sparked by an awkward incident involving a fashion designer. The Duchess of Sussex is said to have been behind the Princess of Wales in the queue for the latest creations from a top designer. It is claimed this caused tensions to rise between the two royal women. The former Suits actress was a known fan of British designer Airdem Moraleglu's clothes, but it's been claimed that her future sister-in-law, who was an existing customer, was given first pickings. This favoritism was said to have deeply upset Meghan who had worn his dresses to several engagements before joining the royal family, the Express reports. After becoming an official member of the firm, the Duchess did not publicly wear the respected designer's outfits until 2019, according to reports. The clothes being handed to Kate first is said to have gone down badly with the Sussexes. Meghan was reportedly so angry she questioned why William's wife was given priority over her, reportedly saying Kate wasn't even queen. The Duke of Sussex revealed further details of a fallout between the pair in his tell-all memoir Spare, as he recalled their disagreement over Princess Charlotte's bridesmaid dress for his 2018 wedding to Meghan. He claims that the incident left his wife sobbing on the floor and was largely driven by Kate who was annoyed about having to wait a day to get a response from Meghan about the garment. In a TV interview, Harry also accused Kate of stereotyping Meghan, and claimed her behavior created a divide. Majesty magazine's editor-in-chief and royal biographer, Ingrid Seward, thinks Kate will be upset, and angry with Harry for publicly outing her. In Harry and Meghan's three-part Netflix docuseries, the Duchess revealed that she deliberately wore neutral colors whilst living in the UK to avoid clashing with other royals. She explained, To my understanding, 
you can't ever wear the same color as Her Majesty if there's a group event. But then you also should never be wearing the same color as one of the other more senior members of the family.